This could be a familiar sight for weeks to come here in Miles City. Pallets of water being handed out here at the fire station, and we're learning the city's water woes date back several years. This water may look clean, but looks can be deceiving. Miles City remains under a boil water advisory because of inadequate disinfection. It's very scary, the scary situation. And it's a situation we're now learning that has been a problem for years. A letter from the Montana Department of Environmental Quality says Miles City has violated clean water laws twice in the past two years. And its water treatment plant failed to maintain microbial disinfection five separate times over the same time period. It's been a reoccurring issue. Um, human error and some of it was related to equipment failure, but the, I mean the end result's the same. Tom Spielman is the Miles City Public Utilities Director. He says these issues are ones that take time to fix and multiple factors contribute to the problem. We have a lot of really young operators and we have a lot of really old operators. You know, it's a training process, our plant's old, we have equipment issues that we're also working through. The job requires a lot of attention to detail, especially in an older plant without, you know, the automation. Crews have been working on the clock to flush the distribution system, but some residents are frustrated. It's very hard. I live at the Eagles Manor. Candace Newby stopped by the Custer County Fire Hall to pick up bottled water now being provided by the city. It's very hard because the whole building is basically boiling their water for everything and it's very hard and me and my boyfriend drink water nonstop. But others like Janine Price say it could be worse. It don't upset me. I think of the town of, what is it, Hysham. Look how long they've been out of water, so I can't complain. While the boil water order is in place for at least another week, Spielman says they're looking for solutions. This as some businesses like this city brew have closed up shop until the problems can be fixed. There are other aspects of our plant that we're looking at modernizing, you know, as a redundancy, so things like this do not continue to happen. In Miles City, Alina Howder, MTN News.